Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brixar and a part of my basement that has rarely ever been seen by human eyes or especially here on YouTube. So I have spent the last two days clearing out tons of stuff. And it's like this area that I'm standing in is roughly 12 feet by 14 feet, the main section of it. And it took me two days <laughs> to move the boxes and containers uh, that were here and I still haven't moved all of them. So behind me is remnants of my comic book collection. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't been following the channel for a while, I was a big comic book collector for a long time and I kind of stopped <laughs> in 1996. So that's 26 years ago, but I still have a lot of the comic books uh, actually more than half still of my original collection. So I, I did try selling things over the years. but So a lot of the stuff I, I just put back here and it's not forgotten, but just out of sight, out of mind type of thing. But it takes up a lot of space. So I want to get rid of all this. And then there's a whole big other pile of uh, boxes of comic books over norm where I normally film. That you just kind of off camera. You don't see it all the time. So I got some on this table here. I'll show you uh, what I'm kind of doing here. But... So, yeah, I removed all the Lego and non-Lego and slot cars and mega blocks that was in this area. And I'm going to put the BrickLink store. So this wall behind, what's behind these comic books will eventually be uh, a bunch of stack-ons. I counted my stack-ons. I have 125 stack-ons currently. I'm going to see if I can get some other uh, stack-on style containers and then, so there'll be a wall of them, and then I'll have another row here in the middle. I'll probably have a place to uh, do the orders, and then I'll probably have more shelves and stuff. So you're not seeing the whole area right now. I'll come off the tripod and show you that. But yes, yeah, it took me two days just to get most of the stuff, and I'm still left with all these comic books. So each of these, these, uh, there's a lot of comic books. In fact, I took, there were some comic books here. I took them off, and I put them over here because I was looking through them. Uh, yeah, I found some, some decent ones, but, oh, I'm going to do a haul, and I've never done a haul from this location before, so we got that box from Lego Shop at Home, and this one, so we'll do them in the order that they came, so this was the first one uh, that came, hopefully I'm in shot, I have no idea, so I'm going to open this box up from Lego and see what's in here, I've been waiting for the, um, transformer because my son wants to build it i don't know if it's in either one of these boxes and it's not this box so this one is elvis so i bought the elvis mosaic i'm thinking i like this one here the best but i don't know i may go over 70s elvis um we'll just have to decide which of those we got those so we got i don't know did, did these go in chronological order i don't know uh, but uh, so I got that uh, that set, and then of course uh, the reason I bought it is you get the free gifts with purchases. Now there would have been to get to this, I would have had to buy something else to get it. And I think it was a pre-order item, so that's why this. Even though that the uh, the Elvis was not enough to get to the the price for the gift with purchase. Um, yeah, that's how I got those free. What did I set my cutters? So we got another box from Lego Shop at Home. Let me open it up. I, that, I'm hoping the Transformer set comes soon. Hopefully this is it. Probably not. Oh, it is! It is! Yes! Ah, ah yes. It's, the box is smaller than I expected. Um, so they might be Bricks is going to be building this. He's been waiting for this. And this is one of those times where I paid full price for a set. <laughs> Uh, to get it, well, I, well, it should have come sooner. I, I just couldn't go to the Lego store the day. In fact, if I'd gone to the Lego store, I probably still would have got a gift with purchase with it, but they did not have any gift with purchases online. But yeah, I had to get it. I, I figured it would probably sell out. I don't know if it has or not, but this thing is awesome. want to get two of them, but um, they might be bricks. As, he is going to build this. So uh, that's the haul. Not a not a lot going on there. Now let me kind of show you around what will be my future, uh, the, the future location of my BrickLink store. 
So this area, so here's where I was standing a minute ago where the, the comet, these are homemade <laughs> shelves I built a long time ago, but um, I had this, this coffee table, this used to be our coffee table. We haven't used it in, I don't know, like 15 years. We're going to go put that on fi Facebook Marketplace because it's a huge coffee table, but right now I'm using it to go through some of the comic books. And it's just, they're, they're not in any particular order anymore. I used to have these things alphabetized. Uh, they're not, oh, I found this Omicron comic book. It actually has a record in it, a 45 record. And it's it's not it's not a quarter comic book. I, thought, I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's probably a quarter comic book. It's not. This one's going up in value, Death of Jean de, Jean de Wolf uh, comic book. There was, uh, oh, and even these DP7s. Sometimes it's comic books I didn't think would be worth anything. I can actually sell them now. Uh, there's actually Marvel Comics Presents. Let me show you this. So, I think it's in here. Yeah, Marvel Comics Presents. So I gave They Might Be Bricks, my son, Jacob. I gave him a couple of the... Uh, I don't have all of them left anymore, but there was... Let's see if I can find it. I'm looking here. Oh, yeah, here we go. This, it was uh, the Weapon X, so that's where the Weapon X series started. I used to have the complete run, now it's just a few random things, but you know, little little things in the collection. So I'm going to go through all of this, and the goal is to get rid of all the comic books you see here. These, I took, I took the comic books that were here, they're actually way down there in that pile of junk right there. And I was using them, I was going to make this like this train and slot car storage. Uh, now I'm going to have to move all this stuff. So i got to clear off another shelf somewhere so I can store this stuff. And so all this is going to go. All of these are going to go. And then that whole wall, there's a wall behind that. That's going to be for stack-ons. It goes, uh, it actually goes past all this stuff. Kind of give you a, see there's the train table. There's where I normally film. But there's the corner of the wall right there. So all of this has got to go too. I just haven't figured out where I'm going to put it yet. Um, and then I'll have a shelf or something over in this area. I'm going to put a door there <laughs> to hide all that junk. Oh, and i got to get lights and a ceiling. I'm going to start on the ceiling. I'm going to start back here. I think I'm finally going to do it. So everybody that always complained about looking at the insulation, yeah, I'm going to cover it up uh, starting soon, hopefully. But, yeah, the first thing is to get rid of all these <laughs> comic books. Uh, so I had over 50,000 different comic books at one time. It's down to probably less than 30,000, maybe closer to 28, 29,000. So we're going to get, yeah, just, I said, I said I was going to do them on whatnot. I don't know. I'm probably just going to put stuff on eBay for now because whatnot seems just too hard. Oh, look at, wait a minute. I got something here that's pretty cool. Um, First appearance of Lobo. Uh, I'm going to put those on eBay, I think. Uh, so you have, just you never know what you're going to find when you haven't looked at comic books in 20 years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got I got too many of them. Way, way, way too many of them. Still got a lot of X Men. These X's, these are for X Men. I think I got about well, it goes up to what X eight, which changed to three at some point. X seven, which changed to X five. <laughs> My numbering system is terrible. Oh, look, another X7. Now it's X6. What's in this one? Let's find out. Oh, it's books. Uh, see, some of these don't even have comic books in them anymore. Interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of sorting and figuring out here. So, yes, this will, again, be the future area for my Bricklink store. It's going to be a little bit more organized, I hope. Uh, the stack owns kind of grew organically over time and so it, when I first did it it's like it was perfect for what I had but as I expanded it just got more out of whack so I'm going to try to make more sense of it while also planning for future expansion in case that happens I remember a couple of years or so ago I said I wasn't going to expand it anymore and yet I did <laughs> so I I got to at least plan for that but I do want to try to keep it in this area I think it'll fit uh, so I just have to say about the, the boxes, 
the uh, like the the shoe boxes I got. I'll probably consolidate those down in a little better storage solution on the shelves. I know that some of the shelves I have are about uh, almost two feet deep, which is too much space. So I need shelves that aren't as deep uh, for the the shoe boxes. So I have to figure out if I need to get new shelves or if there's some different ones that I can use down here instead. Just try to make the best use of the space, but get in a ceiling. And oh, they make these new lights for drop ceilings, the LED lights, and some of them you can actually color change. I think in this part of the basement, I won't make it color changing. And I think I'm gonna run, I probably should run another outlet where this is on a separate breaker from the rest of this section of the basement. I'll just have to see it, plan it um, before I get too far along, I guess. But anyway, yeah, this will be the future BrickLink store. And so, yes, I have actually started on it. It's just, I dreaded doing it because I knew it was going to be a lot of work moving all this stuff. And oh, and before I go, let me just show you the mess uh, where, where some of the other stuff is. Here is some. So boxes, I can consolidate a lot of this down. Now this is where you get, I, I don't even know how all of this fit in this space that it was in before. So this, these boxes were over where we were at a minute ago and these boxes and then all of this stuff. So I've just, yeah, there's stuff I can't even get to right now. <laughs> now this, I can still kind of get back to this section, but yeah, I got way too much Lego. It's just way, way, way too much. So uh, yeah, we're going to work on this. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see me move all this stuff from my BrickLink store. I'll be doing it. Well, I probably won't like film me actually moving it, but you'll see as I get over there uh, the things. Just got to figure out what to do with the comic books until I get rid of all of them. Yeah, I'll probably put them in the garage, although it's hot this time of year. It's probably not a good place to put them. Uh, please buy my comics. Oh yeah, there's more over here. These are the ones I was talking about before. Yeah, see you guys. Bye.